You guys, I trained in the 1980s, and my uh, uh, PhD mentor told me, uh, start every, every story with once upon a time, and hopefully end then happily ever after. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll sort of uh, begin to tell you the story of where this concept that we will share with you called Code X uh, really began. And it really begins uh, not in a galaxy far, far away, but about five blocks away from here. Uh, when uh, about five years ago, there has been a revolution in cancer therapy. All of a sudden, the field of immuno-oncology was born, a field that I've lived in for the last 30 years, and it became clinically relevant. And suddenly, uh, all of us that treat advanced malignancies with drugs had new weaponry. And the question became, uh, how do we absorb all of this new information in a timely fashion and make the right decisions for our patients? Realizing that over the last 10 years, the complexity of healthcare of cancer has become infinitely more complicated. And the issue really became, how can we, on a very local level within our institution, make sure that every Mayo physician throughout our institution across the multiple states where we, where we function delivers the best care based on our collective Mayo knowledge to the patients that they see in Wisconsin, that they see here in Rochester, that they see in Arizona, and that they see in Florida. So our cancer center began a project of putting together practice guidelines. And you know, how we know how to uh, treat cancer, treat any disease, is basically by information. And the little chart you see behind me is sort of how knowledge is generated. You know, we do, we do studies, it's based on data, data is processed into information, and then we know how to treat based on clinical trials that we do. The unfortunate thing is only a portion of our care, our knowledge, comes from very regulated clinical trials. And as we were trying to, uh, a bunch of us experts sit around the table and trying to decide what are the best ways to treat patients, what we found was in the patients that are the simplest to take care of, those that are just diagnosed with malignancy for which we need to initiate kind of frontline therapy or maybe second line therapy. There was really no issue in our discussions. We knew very clearly and very quickly, in 10 minutes, we realized what it is that we needed to do and what, it, what the guidelines ought to be. But as you know, cancer is not a disease of one diagnosis or one step. It's a longitudinal process of multiple tumor recurrences, multiple treatments, treatments that induce multiple different side effects, that evolve the malignancy within the patient, that changes, that requires an ever-increasing inc complexity and an ever-increasing need of a multidisciplinary approach to treat this disease. And unfortunately or fortunately, within our practice at Mayo Clinic, we tend to see the group of patients that have failed the simple options and come in with a need to be offered complex care. This is where we had a lot of difference in opinion. This is where we spent 99% of our work. And this is where those of us that had to decide what those steps were had to rely on our experience. And as Will and Charlie Mayo, our founders, have often been quoted as saying, the problem with experience is like a surgical scar. It shrinks over time. My experience is different from Lisa's experience, is different from everyone else's. Our combinatorial treatments by multiple, by multiple physicians tend to be different depending on a specific problem. And the question that I had, and I was faced with our group trying to decide how do we treat the very complex patients that we see, was really very varied. We had a lot of ways that we did things, some things we did well, some things we didn't. And the question really was, how can we take our knowledge, the wisdom that you see, which is the ultimate level at which people come to me to give them my world expert opinion on how to treat disease, I really realized that most of that knowledge that I had came from 90% of my experience in treating complicated patients that have, felt, that have failed the initial simple treatments. And what I thought is, could there be a better way than just rely on my experience that we can learn from our collective big practice at the Mayo Clinic so that we don't have to spend 20 years doing something and making a lot of wrong decisions to come to the right decision, but make the right decision up front. Namely, collect our experiential data, analyze it in a statistically valid way, so that we make the right decision the first time and get the patient the best care across our institution, across the world, the first time out, even in the increasing complexity of this field. 
So I had this problem, and as Lisa, who's my friend and colleague for the last at least 15 years, our model of work is very simple. I say, Lisa, I've got a problem. Here's what I think it should look at the end, the happily ever after, but you fill in the blanks.